Well, relieving for me, one of my housemates actually just left the house, so maybe now I'll start calming down. Not that they're like a horrible person, I'm just... Puts a, put a bit of weight off me. So, we're here to talk business, and by business I mean video games. The most businessy business there is in the world. Um, E3 starts today, if you weren't already aware. We have, oddly enough, a... Oh, where's my screen? We have a thing starting. I hope you can actually still hear me. We are. Uh, we have. Oh, let me see. Is that all working fine? That is all working fine. We have the countdown to E3 2018 starting up already with Sony making their own mini announcement in just under two hours. I was originally going to do a normal stream where I was just going to play some game, but now it seems if E3 is coming to us early, might as well discuss things as we go. And while I have got my PC stuff all sorted out, and I think you can see my mouse and everything. Gugh, excuse me. I also have on the other side of things, if the volume is work okay. This on the other side, we've got some sw my Switch all set up so I can play some games as we casually just sort of talk about what we want to see, how things go, and then in a couple hours time we'll actually see it for ourselves and see what we think. How does that sound for a stream idea? You went to bed at 7am? Why? Why would you do that? Why would you not just, s well, yeah, staying up is like way easier than going to bed at 7 o'clock in the morning. Some people are insane. Um, first things first, can you still hear my voice over all these different uh, program settings? It's three different ones. I should sound the same throughout. I think I'm okay, but we will see. I am so rusty. Oh, hello, I do have a visual cue for a thing now. We've got a new follower, and also I can see it there. Talon, thank you for the follow. Hope you will be forever entertained by the lack of music, sound, or any kind of music other than my voice. Let's play. I have a lot of people. Now, can I... Hmm. Can I do this? PC, will you let me? Not, not really, no. Hmm. Hmm -de hum -de hum Trying to make it so I can actually see what's going on. Oh, you know what? That might fix my problem. I'll put Sony in the middle. So I can even see. Like that, you like that, you can go there. Super Mario Odyssey! I, that is weird! I have played through all of uh, Mario Odyssey without actually hearing any of the sound. That was how my old Switch setup was. So to suddenly hear him jump up at me saying Mario Odyssey was not what I was expecting. I was too busy doing PC work. Excuse me. I am not going to lick the cartridge. I've, I've seen those videos. I've seen those reactions. Not gonna happen. Also, Zoe, thank you for the host. It actually tasted good? No, no it didn't. Don't lie to us, don't tempt me. I know that they sour them in bittery sourness to make kids not eat them. Not gonna happen. Okay, you can now play the minigame Balloon World. Great. New filters have been added to Snapchat mode, lovely. Ah, oh, lord, okay. Thank you. Is it obvious I haven't played this game since it came out? Oh lord. Are they all free? That's not bad then if that's all free. Oh that's so weird. It sounds like Mario 3D World. I also actually don't know what any of the music sounds like in this game. I didn't get the soundtrack because I wasn't like connected to it at all. I probably should. Actually I got one or a handful like the main ones that everyone plays in all their videos. Oh I guess also this is technically a spoiler. Oh well, I'm sure people don't mind. It's been like eight months, right? <laughs> okay, the Odyssey needs 120 more. We're gonna go back to like nearish the beginning. I wanna do some exploring for no apparent reason. Oh wait, so I wanna oh I wanna go this one, okay. So, what are people's uh, Sony thoughts? I can't even remember what they came up with last year. What were they showing last year for us? We can sort of go from there. What does Sony own? What do they do? Because, uh, Sony's, Sony's conference, I'm not actually sure if I'm even going to be able to go to this year, because, or like, watch. I don't know, because that's the one that's like at 2 o'clock in the morning in UK time, like, uh, <laughs> the chances of me streaming at 2 o'clock in the morning are quite low. Icy Melon, hello, thank you for the follow. I don't know if you're here for Super Mario Odyssey or for Sony conference, but we'll go with it anyway. That one Spider-Man game, oh, that's a good point, yeah. Is that... 
Is that done yet? Is there a demo? Good morning, Spatia. Why do I... Okay, I thought it was like... I thought I was starting the story again there. I should probably stop talking about the game. It's not as interesting as everything else. What are they gonna... I guess it would be a matter of like... Really, we want to be talking about new games though, don't we? Like... Soundtrack is pretty good. I will keep that in mind. I will take a hint. That's not a hint, that's just telling me where it is. But, okay. What else do they- what else does- what else is Sony doing? Are they doing good at the moment? Are they the ones in control of God of War? Is God of War a spreading out everywhere one? You can tell I'm a little bit like... I'm so stuck with Nintendo games that I'm not really up to date on anything else. Like, I knew Detroit Become Human was a thing last year for Sony. That was an exclusive, and everyone's raving about it now. Actually, um, if anyone ever watched my, um... My- oh, I can't flip the camera around like that. Oh, that's how- that's how I do it? Okay. Um, if anyone watched my what like things to expect video on E3, I originally actually wrote um, Detroit Become Human and was like, where, where, you know, when's it coming out? It's taken forever. I'm kind of getting bored. And then, um, like, as I was making it, they were like, it's out now. Everyone's already playing it. And it's like, oh, well, that was entertaining. I, I will take that off the list. One little trivia of how how in the know or at dude. How in the know or out of the know I am with Detroit Become Human. Good game though, from what I've seen. Can I do that? No, it doesn't really like me doing that. <laughs> wow, I am rusty. I can press it twice, right? Like that and then... No? Good lord, I am so bad. <laughs> uh, can that get me up? No, none of it will. No. Okay. Oh, I was doing that before, wasn't I? <laughs> Whatever. Even do anything? No, doesn't even look like it. Do you expect solid release date for Kingdom Hearts three? Ooh, is that's a yeah? I I would imagine that would be the case. Um, they said it was gonna come out this year, didn't they? But they haven't said anything like that in like ages. So it might actually be a 2019 release at this point if they haven't already said anything. Unless they're specifically waiting for E3, which is very possible, I guess. That is very confusing controls to me. I'm very bad at this. <laughs> Ooh, hello. I'm actually quite excited for Kingdom Hearts 3. I've never actually played any of the games. I've seen one person, I like a friend of mine back when I lived way off to the east. Um, a friend of mine showed me the beginning tutorial first hour of Kingdom Hearts 2 and basically spoiled the whole... Not really. He just sort of said the gimmick before we learnt what the gimmick was. But, um, that was interesting. The idea of playing with your Disney characters is a little odd, but oh well. I do not want that. No. I will buy a Power Moon, though. Have I played Odyssey before? I have. I I steamed through it when I got it, and uh, that was it. I, I, I can't remember the intricate controls. I could just play the basics, you know? I'm also not fully paying attention to it. I'm running around looking, you know, across the screens and all that. God of War is owned by Sony, and only Sony? It's not like... Because the thing that confuses me is sometimes they're exclusives and sometimes they're not, so a game could appear in multiple places, you know? That's the one I'm looking for, so what is that? Oh, you do it as you're ground pounding? Okay, so if I went... That's how you do it. Gotcha! Okay, see, that's what I was trying to do and apparently never learned. I know this isn't PlayStation stuff, but does anyone remember that Xbox One world game with mechs? Anthem. I do not. Ooh, Final Fantasy VII Remake will, will be released at E3. As in, that's a confirmed thing that's happening, or do you think that's what's going to happen? That... yeah, we haven't heard anything about that. Is that... is that still going? Because it was just a, a teaser last year, was it? Or was it even before that? I am so out of the know, like an E3 one of these, uh, no, a Nintendo one of these, I am on it. I could tell you every game they've announced, things coming up, my predictions, you know, all sorts of franchises I could dive into, but <laughs> anything else and I know nothing. Okay. I will remember that another day. I'll be honest, Cap Kingdom isn't the most interesting to explore on its own. I mean, maybe... Like, I don't know, it just seems a bit less explorative. Well, not really. I might go to another place, is all I'm trying to say. I 
Actually, this is pretty cool. I like this. You were joking the game's gonna be released in 2030? Oh, okay. Avoid meant like, by release, you meant release a trailer. But yeah, okay, I'll take your joke for it. This is from the end of the game. Is it, or has this been a collectible I was supposed to be able to collect this whole time? What? Does it release like another world? It opened a new galaxy. This is Super Mario Galaxy suddenly. I'm a tad lost. Oh. Oh. Okay. Right. Okay, so I guess that opened the power moons here. So I have to now always- okay, so those like after the game's done power moons, the kind of how it works. Okay. It sort of opens the world more for the post game. Gotcha! That would make me feel better about finding no power moons up to this point. Final Fantasy VII Remake has been in development for years. Please make it happen. Or Nintendo Remake. They're the green star sections of Odyssey. Okay. You're talking my language now. See, galaxy, I understand. But okay, cool. Um, I can't remember where the other ones were. There was one, like, top right of here. Can I go up there? Probably not. I'll go around. This makes this makes Cap Kingdom a lot more interesting to find now. Like, I actually want to look for stuff now that it looks like they're defined. Hello. So weird to actually hear the music as well. I assumed it would be like some sort of kind of Boo Mansion kind of theme. Or something. Oh well. Right. Let's get back on topic. Those glowing cubes can only be activated after beating the game. Oh, so can you see them earlier and they just wouldn't do anything? Maybe Yoshi's Island remake for the Switch. You know, the Yoshi's franchise is one I really don't care about that much, and I don't see a lot of people raving about it that much. Maybe it's because it's more of a casual audience, but like, what happened to that, um, it was like a cardboard Yoshi game that was going on at the moment. Do you remember that? Like, we've been seeing that for like, a while, and there's not really much coming out of it, and it doesn't, doesn't look that like, I was gonna say appetizing, I'm not sure appetizing is the right word, but you know what I mean? It doesn't, okay. It doesn't grip me very much, it just sort of is there. Like, what like what I liked was um Yoshi's Woolly World. I liked it because it was like I mean I guess it's the same thing with the cardboard aesthetic. But I don't know, the wooliness, the, the Kirby's epic yarn style was a lot more interesting to me for Yoshi than just like generic him now in cardboard. It's because he's not even he's not even cardboard, he's just mostly normal. I don't know. I don't have a lot of high hopes for Yoshi. Yoshi is supposed to release it here. Looks a lot like Little Big Planet. Yeah, I get that. It, I'm definitely getting some um, Yoshi's Wally. Uh, no, Little Big Planet um, tones from them. Also, like, where was this? Did I find this the first time? I don't think I did. I really didn't play the game last time, did I? This game's basically new to me, which I guess must be relieving for some people, or <laughs> very old and tired. I've seen a. Oops. I've seen a couple of, um, what am I trying to say here? Whoops, I'm trying to not die here is what I'm trying to do, really. Um, I've seen a couple speedruns of this game where they've tried to do it without jumping, that's pretty cool. Or like someone tried to play through the whole game without getting a single coin, that was fun to watch. Me though, <laughs> I didn't really care that much. I'm too busy talking about, actually yeah, it's kind of topical, it's not Sony, but it is Nintendo. I would imagine there's probably going to be another um, Odyssey thing, like some DLC, because not much has happened with this game yet, has it? And like, Breath of the Wild has gotten tons of stuff, but it feels like it. Like, they've gotten a lot of upgrades with their DLC, whereas Mario Odyssey's just kind of been there. Like, it's gotten a handful of things, but I, I'm expecting more for like, the latest, biggest Mario game, you know? I imagine it sold great as well. I thought I could jump on that wall, but obviously not. 
this is a Sony discussion. I'm just seeing the I'm reading the comments that I see, and the last one I saw was <laughs> Yoshi and Mario. I'm not very good at this. Thankfully, I'm doing this like five times in the next week, so by the fifth one, I should be an expert. In theory. We'll see. And hopefully, actually, by then I'll be good at Mario Odyssey, if I'm still playing that game. Um, is that the only way I can get it? Oh, actually, how about I... Well, I've just kind of ruined my chances already. Oh, well. Uh, let's not die. Well, do anyone got Sony things? I, I don't quite know what that means, but okay. I'm trying to think, like, I think also, like, I'm just a bit numb on what... Whoa, hello. Oh, that was me shaking the, the, the Joy-Con by scratching my ear. What a quality game. Um, just don't know what Sony does exclusively anymore. The, the games that they did do exclusively, I have already come out, really, or the ones that I care about, you know? Detroit Become Human was the big one I was hyped about. You got Kingdom Hearts, but then that's getting an Xbox One release, so... You know, that's just... That could be on Xbox as well. Anyone could be trying to advertise it. Hello, do... Do 8 do... Welcome to this non-Sony Sony discussion. Also, whoa! I just realized I got a donation from... I am Jack Thompson. Hey, Dad, I was just curious about something. The girl next to you in your subscriber video was her name Emery. No, her name was not Emery. You may recognize her, but no, there was a lot of people cosplaying um, as that character that she was doing. I never asked their names either. But also, thank you for the £3.73. I could buy a whole... What can I buy for £3? The British economy is pretty crap right now. I could buy two bags of chocolate buttons. That's what I can get for £3. Thank you. Okay, I see where this is gonna go. Excuse me. Nope. Okay, I see. Gotcha. Noted. Where is a power group? There's one like. Where? I don't know where a new one is. Oh well. Sony has been edging a lot on the PS5. They want to start the next generation really badly. Oh, so you're thinking there's actually gonna be a PlayStation 5 announcement already? I mean, they've got a lot of. Oops! Oh wow, that worked. Um, they've got a lot of stuff to announce anyway, if they've got like an announcement every day before everything starts. I would be interested to see PS5. <laughs> I never got the PS4. I have- oh, hello Cat Mario, I saw you down there. They- I have a, a PS3, which I have used twice, I think? Um, I'm really bad with this sort of thing. And I mean, if they get the PS5 out, I've got a chance to get in with the new market, but I also kind of doubt I'll get it. <laughs> I mean, it depends what they make on it, I guess. But, like, I'm pretty sold on the Switch at the moment. Oh, okay, so everyone's afraid of Paragoombas, huh? Sweet! So, um, if I kill this Paragoomba... Oops, not like that. If I actually stomp on it... Will he come back and trap me? Or is this game de 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 well enough? Or does it stay out? Hmm, okay. Good on you, coders. Thought I could catch you out, but I couldn't. The Last of Us Part 2? Oh yeah. We'll see some more of that, I guess. Um, what about Spyro Reignited Trilogy? I never played Spyro, but everyone I've talked to about it that knows it goes pretty crazy about it, so that'd be pretty interesting to see. The, uh, how much have we seen of that already? Do we know what it looks like and all that? Like, do we have an expansive thing going on? Um, do I have a map button? There we go. Does it really just point out where they are? Oh, okay. Search up E3 countdown, there's a list of every conference is starting. Yes, I saw, but we got another Sony thing in a couple hours. Unless that was to someone else, in which case, yeah, cool. I'm also streaming for most of them, unless they're in the middle of the night in the UK. Which a lot of them are. The earliest one, I think, is Sony's one today at 4 o'clock. Nintendo's one on Tuesday is, like, at 5. Oof. Excuse me. 
Um, is that a thing? I want? That's a that's a musical note which I don't think I played last time. And this is a warp pipe that I never touched. Pyro's amazing pla uh, platformer. There's been gameplay teasers on Twitter and stuff. Okay. I remember this song. Um, I guess it was people playing it in videos again. Has anyone got any big predictions of new stuff? I've messed up already. Can I restart? Because it's all well and good talking about the games that are already kind of announced to be happening. Because anyone has anyone got any big kind of Sony predictions? Like, what do they actually think going to be announced today? I imagine it won't be giant because it's only day one of like five. But like, ooh, 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 ooh. what? What could they be announced? Uh, it's something for PS4 and VR, so it's gonna be one game from the sounds of thing. What works on VR? <laughs> Forgot VR was still a thing. I assume there's not. I hope there's not gonna be too much of that at E3. I'm not crazy on VR. More interested in AR. And also a lot of the VR games. Are, actually, no. There's a handful of good VR games. Those um, Justin Roiland ones are pretty good. If you can call them Justin Roiland games, I like those. What are people's predictions? Let me have a check now that I'm not looking at the screen anymore. That Dreams game, probably. Okay. Um, new BG and E2 news since E3. I wish I knew what that meant. That, that makes perfect sense. I'm sure it does, but. That could not have been put in, like, that's a very strange put together. Fruity Cade, thank you for the follow. We're just discussing stuff. I don't know why I feel the need to explain what I'm doing every time someone follows. They obviously know what I'm doing, hence why they followed. They would have been watching for a while, but thanks for joining us. We're doing E3 discussions. <clears throat> um, there's been a huge Spyro trailer. Hey, Daz, what do you think? Uh, what? What do you think is the percentage chance of a Pikmin 4 announcement this year? Ugh. Um... Well, the thing is, we we are in the same spot with Pikmin 4 as we were last year and the year before and the year before that. The only thing that really changed since Pikmin 3 is, um, hey, Pikmin's come out. Miyamoto has said multiple times that it's in development and has even said it's almost finished and then it stopped appearing anywhere, or it never appeared at all, ever. So, there's like, there's a few ways you can think of it. Either it was it was already almost finished, but that was for the Wii U, so they've moved it to the Switch, and so it's coming out later. Or they've decided, because they're also delaying it, they'll add more things, like um, a Pikmin editor mode or something. Um, spoilers, I'm going to be making a video on that in a couple of days. Um, or something like that. Or they are completely switching it up and doing something completely different, or the team was put to another project that could be similar to Pikmin but wasn't, or they're making some spin-off, which they, I guess, have already done, or they cancelled it. I'm tempted to think because it was so nearly finished, or so they say, and development is still very much going and it's Miyamoto's baby, I think we'll s there's a good chance it'll exist, and it's a kind of good enough time. The big, you know, the big ones like Mario and Zelda have had their play on the Switch. Um, we might like see some Animal Crossing as another big one and a Pokemon's coming out soon, but I think like there's a 40% chance after all that rambling because I kind of have to work out the answer myself. I'd say there's like a 40% chance that we'll be seeing Pikmin 4 this year and I, I really hope so because I mean I'm building up all these different Pikmin 4 videos but I'm not sure if I can make another 50 without any details. Uh, do you have plans for Daz reviews if Pikmin 4 isn't announced? Um, I'll make a video saying where is Pikmin 4 for a start, and then, I don't know, um, I've been on the schedule of making a Pikmin video every Friday, and then on the side making another video of whatever I choose, whether it's The Incredibles or some other film that I haven't actually released the video of yet, or, um, I don't know, another game. Um, I do not go to this place either, this is very Super Mario Galaxy-esque. I don't know what I'm gonna do straight away. Um, I'll probably still make a good handful of Pikmin videos each week, but probably like less Pikmin 4 -ian, or like what I could do is just make a bunch of different Pikmin 4 ideas videos. Like um, the next one I'm coming up is a Pikmin 4 idea video. It's not a trailer analysis or anything. I've got a good uh, presume. Oh wow, that was lucky. I've gotten a nice backlog of Pikmin videos I could make regardless of if Pikmin 4 exists. You know? If Pikmin 4 exists, then I've got 
um, all sorts of, um, what am I trying to say here? My lord, am I dumb? I've got a whole slew of, like, vid you can make without the analyses and the trailers and the breakdowns and all that. If Pikmin 4 does come out, then I've got all that content. So it's only making more content if Pikmin 4's there. I've got a lot of stuff I can still make on Pikmin. Oh my lord, this is an elongated <laughs> answer. But something will happen. Hopefully. If something doesn't, then I'm only going to survive for like another three months. Or not. Um, actually, on that similar note, although it's not Pikmin related, um, The Incredibles 2 is doing amazing on my channel right now. Um, I don't know, well, I know why, it's because everyone likes hearing about The Incredibles 2 for a start, but um, I could probably survive off that for a little bit, make more video game, uh, film trailer analyses and reviews and stuff. So I could survive. But I've only got so many Pikmin videos I can make without any Pikmin content to go with it, you know. Anyway, uh, next question, if there was one. Um, I, wow, I thought I would stick to the electric thing. I was not looking at the screen, clearly. Uh, Pikmin 4 was de delayed so they could Pikmin Battle Royale. Do you know how many comments I get in my videos saying Pikmin Battle Royale? Like, it's a funny joke, sure, ha! Huh? I'm very, la I'm very laughtery. But like, I can literally, when I wake up in the morning, I'll check to see like, my YouTube comments. And it is like, I mean, it's not like every other comment, but every single morning since like, since I started making videos again, there will always be at least one comment in the backlog saying Pikmin Battle Royale. They don't even say like, I bet it will be Pikmin Battle Royale next, or you know, they're going to reveal Pikmin Battle Royale at E3. They just say, uh, I'm dead. And they say Pikmin Battle Royale. They don't give any context, sometimes with a colon, sometimes without a colon. It's like, it'd be f put some context into your jokes, man. Because I've seen those three words a lot. If you make a joke out of it, or you make, give me like a really long, give me a really long, like, ideas paragraph about all these things I could put in, and then at the end, have it be a giant reveal that you're talking about Pikmin Battle Royale. Great, you, you, you verduzzled me. But I just see those three words, no other context, in comments every morning. Doesn't annoy me, but it's like, come on, humorians, comedians is the better word, should I say? You can do better than this. But, oh well. Ugh, da, 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 I can't do my buttons. Can you make another Incredibles analysis so we get to know that the main villain, <laughs> so we all know that the main villain, the Incredibles fight, is Thanos? Um, I'm not sure if I can make that connection for you, but there is two analyses now. Um, the second one either is really just unpopular or is being suppressed by YouTube. Might be happening. My views are very slow at the moment. Um, by the way, this is supposed to be a Sony discussion, not a, not a me discussion. I mean, <laughs> we've got time. How many minutes have we got? We've got 79 minutes before I'm dead again. Um, how about I leave? No, I can't leave. I've got plenty of coins. There's no death penalty. <sighs> New Chibi Robo. Again, not Sony, but I would love to see it. I still really need to finish the second game. It's frozen for a couple reasons. My editor was unable to edit videos because he was busy, and I was able unable to finish the game because I was busy and got stuck. I'm I'm in like the montage bit right before the end where I'm literally just getting 100% and then fighting the final boss. That's where I am. Tantalizingly close, I know. Um, my editor actually has said if he can find the time, he would love to continue. Thank God. He would love to actually um, finish it, he just needs to find the time. And I'm in the same vein, I'd, I'd like to finish the game, I just need to get around to doing it. Um, I can do that soon. I, I just need a reminder and be like, okay, you're doing this today. But also I need to record, not live stream it. Because if I live stream it, then there's a giant in the game that people are like, wait, <laughs> this isn't where it, like, it left off. So, I don't know, I've got to work something out from that. Are you kidding me? Okay, I need to actually focus here. I'm going to stop looking at the questions for one moment. Hope you don't mind. I don't like this. Okay, phew. I deserve that one. That felt earned. Do I have Nintendo Labo? I don't. I don't have money. 
I don't buy new things. I'm trying to buy as few new games as possible because I don't have the, <laughs> the money for it. I might be like less motivated in watching the C3 this time because it's like I'm gonna be trying to steal money that I don't have to spend, you know? We'll see. Or maybe I'll feel the opposite and it's like I want to buy this game but I don't have the money to. Like, all the stuff I've been playing is stuff I've already got. Pokemon Quest was free, Octopath Traveler demo was free. Actually, I haven't really played much else. I played Sonic Heroes, but I got that for free on Dolphin Emulator, so. Hello, Captain Toad, you gonna say anything to me? Oh, thank you, Captain Toad. Sony Coffin Simulator 2018, huh? Okay, I will consider that one. Please don't tell me that's a real thing. Because for all I know, for how out of touch I am, it could be. I'm done with um Cap Kingdom. No! Oh, I just saw that. Okay. Okay. Actually, that might put me back where I was. Because I just wanted to go back to the, the Cap ship. Oh my god, it did. Okay. Um. Where was it? Not there, that's why. I'm looking in the wrong direction. Where am I trying to get to? Oh, it's right here. Oh, even better. I will still miss it. Watch me. Okay, sweet! Whew. Daz, do you like Odyssey? Actually, I didn't. When it came out, I was like, nah, it's just kind of generic. And I was like, it's... Uh. And I mean, now I hear everyone raving about it, I'm like, I can see it. It is very open and explorative. That is good. But I think part of the reason I didn't like it so much was because I just rushed through it. And I didn't actually, you know explore, I just finished the story, and I couldn't hear the sound, which is a big part of it, you know? So I didn't actually like it. It's probably okay. But I'm a little uh, jaded on it. The Resident Evil 2 remake could finally be shown. How's Resident Evil doing? What do they do? Like, uh, the last one was like a VR-verse thing. Nah, that's too recent to do another Resident Evil. But the remakes, yeah, sure. Pikmin 4 announced for the GameCube. I'll get it. I have a GameCube. Hey bro, you say Princess Peach, huh? So proud of ya. But enough of that. Get this, bro. I came up with a new game. I call it Balloon World. Balloon World is a game where you can search for balloons hidden by people all over the world. Oh, it's this mini game. I know this. No, I don't. I can't be bothered. Don't reveal my internet to everyone. Not that that's how that works remotely. Oh. Hey, hey. Oh, oh. Oh. I have 20. Wow. Thank you. Ho, ho. If we do get a third Mario Galaxy, it would be for whatever con console game comes after the Switch. Oh, you think it's not even going to be on the Switch? Okay. What did Sony announce? They haven't announced anything yet. They are announcing something in 74 minutes. Oh. Why are they giving me so many? No. Or was I lucky in finding one that was that close? I doubt it. Good job, you picked a really good hiding spot. Hey. Sony announced Schnack 3. Is that how you pronounce it? Schnack? What was Knack? Uh -huh. oh. Do I like Splatoon? Um, I don't know why I said it like that, just because you sputter like that. Also though, we've got Kood and Kotax following us now. Thank you very much. I do appreciate it, I'm very small. Um, do I like Splatoon too? Um, I never played it. Again, I didn't buy any new games. I have Splatoon 1, and that was fun. Admittedly, I had fun with about with it for about two hours, and I was like, okay, I get the gimmick, and then didn't play it anymore. But it's probably because I don't have friends online that have it as well and play it. Um, I did play it actually locally for a little bit. I had um, a bunch of people come around my house and play it then, and that was fun. Or like we'd play it one plus person playing online, and the other one's like just sort of cheering them on or something. That was fun. Splatoon 2. I know nothing. I mean, it's basically the same game, isn't it? Just like DL. Isn't it like just a giant DLC? That's kind of how I envisioned it. I don't like Cascade. Killer. Let's move on. It's said like snack, just without the S. 
Okay. Then I think I'm talking about a different game. Main series is all the best games plus Re Resi 6. Spin-offs are Resident Evil Guide and other classics, while the remakes are all the damn versions of Resi 1 that exist. Such as the Director's Cut, the remake, the DS version, the HD version of the remake. That's a lot to give. Resident Evil, I'm also n not clued in on. Um, I know Resident Evil 4 was on the GameCube. I watched some of most of it because they used to play Call of Duty stuff, and that was back when I watched Call of Duty all the time. It was a fun time. Is there a there's a taxi gimmick here? I remember like reading up. That there's like a taxi. People search for the balloon, you hit two times, you win 24 coins. Thank you guys, I assume it's you guys, or just random people. It could be random people. But I've already forgot my train of thought. There's a taxi here, and there's like a whole story with them, isn't there? Also, there's an eyelash in my eye, and I just want to hit the rock, but it's just there. Thank you. Oh, my whole eye is giving me issues now. Also, while I'm on this break of rubbing my eye. Is the stream look all right? Does it sound okay? Can you hear everything fine? Is there an echo? And can you see your own chat okay? Or does not people not really care that much? I can't tell because my preview is turned off. Right, right. Oh my lord. What? This is the deepest eyelash I've ever had to extract from my own eyeball. Thank you, blinking map. I will get to you in a moment. <laughs> The best of sounds. Okay. Everything looks fine. It's fine. To me, at least. Everything is good. Sweet. Splatoon 2 is its own game, but by quite a lot. Oh, I know it's a no its own game, but it's like DLC, right? It just expands all of Splatoon 2 to giant levels. Where is that taxi? Probably long gone, isn't it? That's what I wanted to see. Oh, well. Doesn't matter to me. Um, other button. There it is. Does that mean I've got them, or I haven't? Probably means I haven't got them. Or it's its own thing? I have not a clue. No, let's find out. Shouldn't take me too long, I'm sure. Uh, how long do you think Switch will stay around until Nintendo announces a new console? Um... I don't know, like, five, six years? They're long generations, aren't they? The Wii felt like ages, and the Wii U felt like even longer. I think. Oh, also... Um... Oh, I've turned off motion controls. Right? Well, that's motion control -y. Never mind. This is a taxi? Is this the taxi thing I was thinking of? No, probably not. Just a, a random thing. I'm very lost. I haven't played this game. Are you excited for Sonic or uh, Sonic Mania Plus? I guess. Um, I'm not crazy on it. Um, I mean, Sonic Mania is a great game. Never bought it because saving money and all that. But it looks great. Sonic Mania Plus seems even better, but is it is it just more of the same? Like, is it DLC or is it its own game? And then if it is its own game, will it expand it enough? Because there's already another version of Green Hill Zone going on, and I'm like, I'm a little, I'm a tad bored of it, you know? So, eh, that's my thoughts. I'm a very, very dull and neutral person nowadays. I'd be curious to see, actually, if I, if I could have grabbed 2012-year-old me, 2012-year-old? 2012 me. Who was first, like, you know, he just made his first Pikmin 3 video about this weird trailer analysis on this Pikmin 3 game. And then I threw him off to this E3 and see how he'd talk and react and think. Like, you know, would he be interested in these games? Have I just become boring and old in my 20 year old puberty? Like, what's going on here? You know, I'm 21, but it's the same thing. Also, that's a moon. I will grab that, please. Or I will explode myself. That works too. People search for blue and you hid one time. Thank you. It's a link again. That might be a coincidence. Also, oh, okay. That's what that's about. Gotcha. You have $25 in your eShop. What would you recommend? I wouldn't recommend... Uh, well, it depends what you have. I wouldn't recommend anything at the moment. The only thing I'm... Like, the thing I've been thinking of actually buying with the money that I don't plan to spend is Octopath Traveler. Well, I'm, I'm becoming more and more iffy on it lately, but like, that would be the one thing I'd say wait for, but then that's more than $25. Um, so... Otherwise, I don't know. I'm not your guy to go to for recommendations. I am not a reviewer that's played every game ever. I would love to have that lifestyle, 
love to be a, an officially acknowledged reviewer who gets to get the early copies, but no. I just exist, you know? Oh, okay. You guys are from the Water Kingdom. Can't swim in this, you are correct. These are puzzles I do not know how to solve, unless there's one of those big guys around. This is very 3D world, Liam. Anyway, get Celeste. Oh, you have Celeste. Celeste is? I've never heard of Celeste. I, I assume it's good then, whatever people are raving about. No, that was, okay. You saw my attempt there. Buy Fire Emblem Sh Shadow Dragon on the Wii U with those $25. I have never played a Fire Emblem game, and I really want to. I had a fun uh, interaction at Comic-Con when I went uh, this year, because uh, there was someone I met, and they were like, ah, oh. um, I'd met them for the first time, and I was like, okay, great, good to meet you. And then um, there was a moment where they were like, oh, have you, uh, have you played Fire Emblem? And I was like, yeah, I think I meant to say, like, I know Fire Emblem, rather than, oh, I think I've already got this one, I remember it. Um, so I thought they were like, oh, do you know Fire Emblem? And I was like, yeah, yeah. And I, But they said, do you, have you played Fire Emblem? And I couldn't go back on myself, so I was like, yeah, all right, I, I've played Fire Emblem. And then, like, they're just talking about all these different things, and I'm like, oh, but these are spoilers, but all right, I'll go with it, and we'll, I'll pretend I know what's going on. Frankly, they only, like, they'd sort of forgotten in all the time that they'd last played it, many of the details, but I was just like, okay, cool. I know some things. I know like five character names because I've played Smash. And it worked out fine. They didn't wonder it, and because of them watching this stream are hopefully low. So we should be fine. If not, oh well. I'll like to get around to it at some point. I would be a fan of the games if I could get them. Probably. How did I not get this moon? Or was this a, a post moon only? Oh well. Alright, oh, okay, thought I missed it. That's slightly horrifying. That's even more horrifying. Goodbye. People are saying you need a Jaxi to get those moons, but like, I don't, first of all, I don't know what moons you're referring to. Oh, that would probably be the ones in the, the temple. But also, what on earth's a Jaxi? Is that one of the stone guys? Where? There was no stone guys nearby. Do I have to grab a stone guy from like the other side of the map? So that's kind of boring. Or not. Um, I'll explore the, de the actual desert now, I think. That's what I'm into. There's another glowing bird, or is that the same glowing bird that's just going to keep glowing forever because I've already taken this moon, right? Yeah. I'm going to get that. Guys. Do you think the switch, the switch will go long enough for a second Legend of Zelda game like the GameCube did? Um, I think so. I really, um, I was watching a video that had a really great, like, point and idea that I really wish Nintendo would actually follow up on. Is that death? No, it's not. Okay. Um, and it was that Majora's Mask was created through the same assets of Ocarina of Time and one year later. Oh, it's this place. I don't want to go yet. I would love it if every big Zelda game did the same thing, where they, they made two Zelda games with each asset group. You know, like I hope they do that with Breath of the Wild. I hope we get another Breath of the Wild Zelda game, but with the same with the same assets, the same looking characters, and just expand them. You know, give us a new world because it's more content and it's easier to make. And it, it's just like, why wouldn't you? <laughs> That's all I want. So if they do that, then definitely yes. Otherwise, hopefully but probably right at the end of the um, the game. That will just get a bunch more um, HD remixes. Remixes? Remakes. Same thing. Um, I'm also definitely imagining to s or expecting to see uh, Wind Waker HD and Twilight Princess HD on the Switch. That's what I'm expecting this year. And hopefully some Mario Party. But again, this has gone into Nintendo discussions, and I don't know if people actually care for Nintendo discussions in this stream titled Sony Discussions. But I know so little about Sony. I pay so little attention. Or I know the stuff, but I don't associate it with Sony, you know? Like, I'll be like, ah, oh, I know this game and I know that game. I know all these games, but I don't know that they're Sony, because I don't click. 
no game feels like a Sony game to me. Sony just feels like the company that has them sometimes. If that makes sense. I was not looking at the screen. That as soon as you leave, Sony will announce Infamous 4. Possibly. There's always the way. I bet that I give up on making videos entirely will be the day that they make Pikmin 4. Come out. Or something. This is actually New Donk City, huh? A nice teleporting gimmick. Oh, I think I found my thumbnail. Sony will be live in 61 minutes. Monster Hunter. Is that actually is that confirmed to be coming on the Switch? Because I have one Monster Hunter game and it didn't click me because of setups, or I just wasn't into it, but I'd love to try it again. Do I have that game still? I should do. I think it's downloaded on my Wii U, but like, I removed it. Oh, this is like, it takes you there, but doesn't take you there. Oh, strange. There's like foreshadowing. That's quite cool if I'd never been here before. But then would it be raining? Because you first come here when it's raining. Oh. Everyone's having discussions on Zelda games. So we have a few more follows. A simple Pikmin fan, thank you for the follow. Dan Joker, thought you had an N in your Joker at first, I thought you were Dan Jonker. Very weird spelling. And the Twelfth Spark, thank you for the follow. What are your thoughts? What do you plan to see, or what do you expect to see in an hour's time? A single game for the PS4 and the PSVR. What, what works for both? And I assume is, well no, it won't be, won't be guaranteed to be new. It just is something. See, I don't even, I, I would make a predictions myself, but I, I don't, I don't know what they do. Like, there's, um, what do I know that they have? Like, that still hasn't come out yet. There's, um, that Stranding game with, um, not Daryl Dixon, but I always call him Daryl Dixon because he's the only other famous Daryl I seem to know. Um, yeah, they have Last of Us. Actually, yeah, it's, what are all those PlayStation exclusives? Kingdom Hearts. Detroit Become Human, um, the other one that's like The Last of Us but not, where it's survivalist and there's a girl following you, Walking Dead, that's what that is, that's not an exclusive, never mind. Right now you'll earn extra coins by playing in the other kingdom, okay. I won't do that, but good to know. Kingdom Hearts 3 info announced, that's what you're expecting right off the bat? That would make sense, um, I'm hoping to see it. Would people be interested in actually stream the Kingdom Hearts games because in all honesty Kingdom Hearts 3 is probably one of those games I would like to buy definitely because it just I mean if they're covering Pixar stuff now I can't really deny that I love Pixar I love 3d animation kind of games also there's the food guys just realized and a human okay this is a weird world like and I've also I have access to I think three of the Kingdom Hearts games for free so I could very easily do like um, a, a marathon of all the Kingdom Hearts games, or all the important Kingdom Hearts games, to catch myself up on the story, and also for any like last minute people, and then hopefully get it done in time for Kingdom Hearts 3 to actually come out, and then we'll play Kingdom Hearts 3. Because I really want to get into the world of Kingdom Hearts. It seems wacky and fun and cool. If I've only I could make sense of it. But maybe if I do it in a marathon it will make sense. Or someone can be there the whole time explaining the whole damn thing to me. It's an idea. What are people's thoughts? I might do it, um, if it, like, if, it, if much gets revealed. If we find out a release date, how's that? If we find a release date for Kingdom Hearts 3, I will then try and arrange for that, uh, marathon live stream. Okay, that was... I should have long jumped, huh? Is that what that's telling me? Yeah, if we get a release date, then I can work out when I should, like, finish the thing. This thing come back? It has, okay. You played a bit of Kingdom Hearts 1 and it was pretty cool. Nice. I actually heard that the the combat in Kingdom Hearts 1 is really bad after you've played Kingdom Hearts 2.
Oh my god, that's gonna take me forever. How are you? Is this with a jack? No, a jack T doesn't fix this. They're not fast. Is there a prompt to this? See, I would also, yeah, you're the same as that of how you, you, you haven't played Kingdom Hearts, but you really think you should. I'm the same, and I don't, but I don't think I could get it done well. Like, unless, oh, what am I trying to say here? I can't play the games now because, well, I could. But it's like, you can't just play one and you, and then you can jump into three. Or you can't just jump into three. You gotta know all the stuff that's going on in the background with one, two, and three point, uh, what was it? Three, five, eight over two, and chain of memories and all this jargon, you know? Why am I leaning to the right even when I'm holding left? Who's doing this? Am I that dumb? I am pretty dumb these days. I grew up to be dumb. When I'm older, I want to be dumb, and it worked. You do need a Jaxi. What's a... A Jaxi is a stone guy? Are they that fast? Also, there's a thing on my nose. Does that always happen? <laughs> is it not coming out? Okay. I'll get a Jaxi. Kingdom Hearts, darkness, 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 darkness. I'm sure I would understand that joke one day. I hope so. Not today, though. Not today. Kingdom Hearts 2.8 Final Remix featuring <laughs> Dante from, I'm trying to read both and not cross the thing, Devil May Cry series and Knuckles. Makes sense to me. Go to the sign next to the bench and press A. Okay. I will do. I went up to it last time and apparently never pressed A. But okay. Also, yeah, this guy ain't gonna get me up here, is he? He's not gonna jump. Oh, that was the B button, not the Y button. Yeah, no. Okay, I will go to that but that that bench thing. Can you imagine if I did this whole thing live with uh not live if I did this like blind and without chat giving me like ex instructions for everything? What a mess. Okay. Was this the sign you meant? Or was there another sign that I was meant to go to? The one by the actual music. I am pressing the A button, right? Yeah, that's the A button. I know they're reversed on different consoles, but there's no signs around the music note, is there? No. Is this your first Mario Odyssey playthrough? Believe it or not, no, this is my second. I bursted through the story. So, I guess technically this is me actually trying. If that makes any sense. I can, I can get through the levels. The levels are pretty basic. Maybe I press A here. Press A here. A here. Press A here. Press A on the back side of it. Obviously. Right? I'll be honest, it ain't working. I heard 1, 2, and the prequel are the good ones. Okay. I have the 1.5 remix, I think, or something like that. Which is like, or HD remakes. It's got three games in it. Stand still in front of the sign. You're moving too quick for the prompt. Hmm. I haven't even seen a single frame of this prompt pop up. Yeah, I'll just stop. Oh, you need to complete the Jaxi moons first? Mario Odyssey is a complicated- What even is a Jaxi? The stone guys. You have to complete the stone guys thing to get the bus stop activator. Also, Pikeman, thank you for the follow. Fjoldiel, follow. Thank you for the follow. I think I saw you seven minutes ago when you actually followed, but I assumed you were just another Pikmin name, which I'd already said. That was wrong. Excuse me? Okay. Thank you. Beat the missions. I don't know where the where the missions are. What missions are you referring to? Are there missions? Jaxi. I need to see the word Jaxi somewhere. Anywhere. No? I have no clue. Where do you start with these kind of things? Oh well. Are you going to the sign by the town? Okay. That would be a good starting point. 
Like, there's an actual taxi. Can I just take this? I prefer it. Oh, is this guy I'm supposed to talk to? This is Jaxi. I thought Jaxi was the stone guy. Apparently not. He's the guy that's going to get us into the temple. Okay, sweet. This fixes everything. We can get multiple, multiple things now. Can't jump? No jumping, okay. So, I can go to him to now get him from now on. That's what that means. And we're dead. <laughs> kind of stone? I thought it was an actual lion, it's a sand lion. Maybe I'm not paying attention to his face enough. Why have you put me here? Okay, well, at least I got this guy here. This makes everything a lot more fun. It's on the left side of the map. Okay. I don't know what's the left side of the map, but I will acknowledge it anyway. Hello. This is actually quite fun. I do like the speedier things a lot more. It's fun. This reminds me of, um... What am I thinking? The racing in Mario Sunshine. Blooper races. Blooper ride. That's fun. Oh lord. Shoot, we dead. Alright, we'll come back to it another day. Come back to it now? We can. Sweet! Sorry, I'm focusing now. Makes sense, doesn't it? If there's ever a time I'm allowed to focus, it's probably now. The blooper races were great! I mean, they probably weren't, but I love them. You want a Pikmin that won't screw with colorblind people so dads can properly analyze? What do you mean? I can analyze Pikmin things without with the color blindness. I haven't had them. I haven't made a mistake with coloring them yet. The only time I, my color blindness made a mistake with an analysis was my Sonic Boom trailer analysis. Does everyone remember that? No. Good. It was terrible because I started freaking out that Shadow was in it because I thought Amy's foot was black because of the darkness and the shadows. And then it turned out Shadow was in the game anyway. So everyone was like, "You idiot! That's not Shadow. Shadow's not in this game. Amy's in this game." You idiot, can't you tell what's black and what's pink? And I'm like, no, it's very clearly a dark scene and I still see it as black now. And then it's like, well, Shadow was in it anyway. I was still kind of right. Don't know if he shows up in that scene though, never actually. I've watched people play Sonic Boom, uh, but I'd... not enough to know the actual scenes. I'm so glad there's no <laughs> lack or like, you don't get in trouble for this, all these deaths. Fun though. All right. Everyone knows that Shadow is pink. You are correct. It's just confirmed. How long we got till? We got 49 minutes till Sony shows us something, and then I'll find that my entire stream will break. For a start, actually, I know that I can't have. I'm watching the stream on YouTube because that's where it's currently being streamed at the moment. Um, but. If I have it full screen, the framing rate freezes. It might be fine when we're actually live, so I'll probably test it. But I might have to have it slightly not full screen. Um, I'll probably just have it in cinema mode. But oh well, it means you get to see the chat in the YouTube page as well. Which will be great fun, I'm sure. It'll be like raiding. The closest thing to raiding I do is raiding another YouTube stream. Which I guess is what I'll be doing through all of E3 as well. And other Twitch streams. Okay. But no, that'll, that'll be a thing in the future. For now, can I just <laughs> ride the Jaxi and survive? That's all I need. I'm breaking too early. He's, he's too good at breaking. That's my issue. Okay. I'll just play this slowly, shall I? Never mind. I gave up on that idea quick. Thank you. When you were little, it was hard to distinguish between green and red for some... Or green and yellow for some reason? That's... Sure, it happens, man. Don't worry about it. 
What kind of colorblind are you? I'm red green colorblind, but generally it's just any kind of like blurring of colors in shades will mess me up. Like I very rarely seem to see brown. I always assume it's another color first, but like I can mess up blue and purple. I can mess up red and green. I can mess up yellow and orange. I can mess up orange and red. It's all kind of the same, you know? There you go, Jaxi works now. Let's get that other mu uh, musical note and then we'll move on out of here. <laughs> We're doing a brief, like, run-through of all the, the kingdoms at this, right? Actually, we won't, because we've, we've spent an hour and 20 minutes doing three kingdoms, I think. Oh, well. Thank you. And back we go. Oh! That's the dead end! Good timing. I looked at the right time to know where I was going. not stone. Really? I mean, you've made of pyramids, and I guess they are kind of stone, but... Yeah, no, this is impossible. How do you do this correctly? Oh, you dismount. That would answer our prayers. Let's try this again, 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 shall we? There we go. He's angled the right way. We should be fine from here. No, he, no, he's not. Okay, I'll be get, I'll be bad at that level where you gotta make the path. Nope, 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 nope. This is not working. Like, why can't you face the correct direction, Jaxie? Oh, lovely. Now you're not even pressing the brake button when I tell you to press the brake button. Wow, I think that was the last possible moment I could have gotten them all, but it worked. I will take that, thank you very much. Whew. Would you care if Nintendo kept an op kept the open world in 3D Legend of Zelda games? No, I mean I'd be happy. I'd be happy with that. I need to scratch my eye again. I have serious eye problems. The open world Zelda game worked quite well. If they make a way to make it work again, if it's just like the next Zelda can or the next Link can also climb, and there's still rain and the same kind of gimmicks, then it's not really interesting. I don't know. We'll have to see. Maybe they'll like split the Zelda games in half, so you got, or th in threes, so you'll have the 2D games, the 3D open world games, and the 3D classic games. I don't know. I wouldn't mind another 3D game. I wouldn't mind if they made another Breath of the Wild with another open world and the same assets. You know? Hey, that's that's fine by me. But we'll see. I'm almost done, I swear. We'll be done with this kingdom in just a moment. Just gotta grab this thing. Lovely. Dazzy, how are you movie? I have no idea, but... Waffles! Thank you for the follow. I'll completely ignore one question to go straight to the next one. Clearly not paying attention. We're heading off somewhere else, please. I'm trying to read other comments, but also do this at the same time. Takes me a moment. How are your movies going? Oh, you mean how my fi like my film projects? They're all done. They're good. Um, at this point, we're re-editing stuff, little tweaks, making them non-copyrighted, so we can send to film festivals, and then you might hear more in the future. I'll let you know in an update at some point. See you later, games for us. Have a good one, and hopefully you didn't miss too much in the next 43 minutes. Or after the 43 minutes.
Damn. Okay, where's the thing? Right there. Except it did a jump cut, so you can't tell exactly where it is. Okay, I get the idea. I see Luigi already. This is pretty, I must admit. It's nice how glowy he is. Anyway, excuse me. That's less talking about Mario Odyssey. Oh yeah, I uh, I'm or I've just completed my uh, film production degree, so we made like eight to ten films in the end. Um, they're not all good. We've got like I can't remember what my backlog is, but I've got a, a chunk of films that I'm sending off to film festivals. It's all good. I've got my own little film company. It's great fun. We have stuff. You'll see it one day, probably only in trailer form, because we're not allowed to publicly make uh, show off those films until they've been through the whole film festival process. But it's going. That's my thing. That's what I do on the side. I do a lot of things on the side, actually. But one of them is making films. Making films, live streaming, playing games and reviewing them. And analysing trailers. And doing some theatre stuff. I do a lot. I'm very busy. This is probably not... I think I already did this in the story. I don't know, maybe there's another moon down here. Where can we plant this? I don't know what that's referring to, but I will go with it. Yeah, I've now just graduated university. I am very much beyond the school period. And I'm out of education potentially for good. I don't know. Depends if I take a master's next year or not. I'm at least taking a gap year, at the least. Gonna um, focus on the things that are going at the moment. Got to see if my film festivals go anywhere. Got to see if my other festivals that I've got going on go anywhere. Got to see if YouTube goes anywhere, because might as well try. And uh, we'll see how I am in the next ugh, week. After that, who knows. This is a, such a different experience now I'm listening to, like playing this with, with sound. It's such, it's not even like a stand, it's not even like um, a luxury really. But I'm treating it as such because I'm not, not used to this experience. But I will take it. But what's on the surface here? There's some coins, which I already got. Anything else? More fish people. Oh, there's that. I'll take that. What do I think of Mario Galaxy Cosmic Races? They're fun. I liked them. Um, I could see more. Like, if they have more, if there's, like, a DLC of them or, like, another game has those kind of cosmic races, I'll play them. They're fun. Same as, like, the Shadow Mario races from uh, Sunshine. I like them. There's not racing in this. Oh, there's, there's, I mean, there's other types of racing in this game. There isn't, like, full-on just a, a duplicate Mario racing around, is there? Not sure. Thanks. I think I already got that one. It looks like I've already got it, but I can't tell. Okay, there's that thing up there that I'd like to go to. If it will let me. The rock is gone, you can go inside now. Okay. Now that you have sound, you need to wear the clown suit. It squeaks when you step? I am cashing in on that in a moment. How do I push it? Uh, I, I, got the, uh, I guess I push this way? No, because there's no landing there. I can't pull it. Unless I'm vastly underestimating something. I am. You've become it. Okay. I see. Alright. Okay. Can I um, make it so it's upright? It's a nice idea, I'll be honest. Oh, and I need to finish it into that. I thought that was where the other one needed to move away from. Me? I'm a dumb. Lovely. Just go around the edges. Works every time. It's, what even is it? It's not very interesting is what it is. Just as like a stairway. Okay. A successful repair job. Good job, plumber man. 
Is it a good choice to go for film in college or should I just go for it? Just go for what you want, because if you... I don't know. It depends person to person, sure, and what sort of things you end up going for, but it's like... I, I just decided to go for the things I wanted to go for. Like I was good at maths, and then I did A-level and flunked it because... Well, I didn't flunk it, but I dropped... I ended up dropping it because I did so badly, and I did so badly because I wasn't focusing. But that's a whole other story, but it's like... If I want to go through life becoming an accountant because I'm good at it, or I can become a filmmaker and enjoy it a lot more, why would I choose the less fun one? I don't know, maybe it's my youthful attitude, but it's like I always wanted to do the... You know, I had a goal in life that I wanted to do, wanted to have fun and be happy. There are so many stories that you see of, and I mean movies can't really be 100% accurate anyway, but you see so many movies of unhappy people that sort of settled, and I was like, well, then don't settle. Do what you want to do. If you want to do film, go do film. Find a, find a degree that does it well, though. My one admittedly didn't do it fantastically, but at the same time, even though it wasn't a great course in a lot of places, I mean, for the starters, they were changing the whole course for the people in the year below us, so anything that we disliked and the other people disliked from the lower years didn't change anything for us because we were just on the old program. It was very dumb. But at the same time, university isn't always about, or whatever course you do, wherever you go, isn't always about the course you do, but the people you meet. If it's college and it's a UK college, then you're not really going to meet many new people. It's just an expansion of your school, usually. But university, at least, is a... V you meet all these different people, and though my course wasn't fantastic, the people I met were, and that kind of makes all the difference, you know? Like, uh, I still have a mini film company at the moment now because of the people that were in this admittedly kind of semi-crappy course with me, you know? So just go for the ones you want to go for, because otherwise you're wasting your life. Or at least that's my thoughts. Take a risk, because if you don't, then you Somewhere along the line, you'll regret it. Probably. You know, just do what you want. Your choice. It's your life. If you want to play it safe and have an okay life like everyone else, you know, just get something normal and safe that doesn't really fulfill you but just sort of makes you go, go for it. That's your plan. Sweet. If you want to do something more with your life because you have a giant dream, go for it. Because not everyone will, so be different. Be one of the few that will take that risk, and hopefully you'll reap the rewards. And if it is that much of a risky situation, then the fact that you're in such a risky situation will motivate you to actually do it better because you're at such a risky situation. I think. I'm not the best for giving life advice. Never done it before. You can probably tell. There you go. That was a long rant. I am good at rambling answers. So, uh, Sony, huh? We haven't discussed that in a while. Which previous Legend of Zelda partner would you like to see reappear in the new Legend of Zelda game? Me personally would be Midna. Also sorry for asking a lot of questions. That's okay. Don't worry about it. Ask away. This is all about discussions, even though it's Nintendo again. Um, If one had to come back, I'd probably... Well, I'd say I want to pick Midna. Midna's my favourite, but as a story-wise, I don't want her back. I want her away. That's more dramatic than just like, oh, I'm back again. You know? What of the other partners are there? I don't know. I would have sp no, I don't like Fire from Skyward Sword, but I like Skyward Sword Zelda. If she cats as a partner, I'd have her back. Groose. Groose. Sold. Groose from Skyward Sword. That would be the one. Sony, Infamous 4 and DMC5 are the only things announced that would interest you. And then there's someone else said, what was the other one? God of War. Ah, oh, yes. Did that come out like three months ago? Surprised they have more stuff. Someone did actually say that Cappy sounds like Alf or has like the same sound cues. I can faintly hear it now. I'll need to listen in on it more, maybe when I'm like re watching this recording. But we'll see. We haven't mentioned Xbox One. Uh, Xbox, yeah, you are correct. We're doing good on that front. I have words to say about Xbox. Xbox I know a little bit more. Sony is the one I know the least. Yeah, it's the one that can often excite me the most. Like, I think 2016? The Sony one was fantastic. And I was like, this is amazing. They got this and that. And I want all of this and all of that. And now I've just forgotten. I pay so little attention. 
it's like I think it's also because there's so many games that aren't exclusives. Like, everything in Nintendo is kind of an exclusive, so it's easier to keep on top of. But some games just sort of blur into everything else, you know? But it's like, oh, there was something I was thinking of a moment ago, but it's already faded from my mind. But it's like summer games that would appear on any, so I don't think of it as a Sony game. I just think of it as a game. Okay. Bloom to the left, now to the right. I'm just wandering randomly. See if we can find something interesting in all this land of mechanical level wises. Hey, it's the theme I used to say that I'm live. And I didn't want to go in there, but here I go. CN made a Steven Universe RPG just like Paper Mario, and it was good? I didn't know this was a thing. I need to look that up. Even though I know nothing about Steven Universe, I've been told by many people to actually watch it, and I would be interested in it. And if they've made a Paper Mario esque RPG, I can't say no to that. I love Paper Mario. I would love to see Paper Mario this year, but not the normal Paper Mario. Under a new company, I'll be happy with. Under uh, the guys who made Melee. I forgot what they're called. The one that uh, Iwata used to be a part of. That would be my jam. Ah, I'm surprised I didn't get this before. Maybe it was a recent one. Simple picnic. Now, it does actually, I'll admit, it kind of does help if you, I mean, I don't really want it to be spammed too much, but it does help if you put at Daz videos just because it highlights you, but do it only if you've actually got a question directed at me. If you've got general discussion stuff, don't use it, I think. Or I've set myself up for failure and I'm going to see that everywhere and then I'll see it so much that I won't get to use it. But it does admittedly help because of how sporadically I am. Not the best streamer, I'm probably highlighting bad behaviour, but oh well. I'll learn what works and what doesn't, and what's acceptable and what's not in the future. Excuse me. I know this bit. This bit was okay. It is cool how they do expand on these mechanics nicely, but... Blech. I didn't know these guys made a flop sound when they did their thing. Okay. Dudes, thank you. No, I did that last time, probably. In too much of a rush. No, it doesn't feel like there's a lot here. Oh well. Daz has been better at reading chat? Are you sure? Maybe it's because I'm finding situations that are less confusing to me. I'm not focused on trying to climb up a cap house, you know? We've got half an hour left and then Sony's doing his thing. For like a 15 minute announcement, I'm watching this whole thing. The lonely little watermelon off in his own little world. But magically found a moon. Okay, the nut at the dead end. What a lovely title. Now we're going to go all the way back. People talking about Supernatural now? I know a little bit about Supernatural, but not a ton. I had a friend of mine, I knew a handful of friends that were obsessed with it. And then, that was it. I think back then though, it was on like season 9. Now it's on like season 25? It's not. It's on like season 14, probably. But, my lord. I actually watched the first season, and then I never got around to watching the second. So I'll just go with the first. I'm sure I get all the information just from the first, even though one of the main characters doesn't even appear in the first. Didn't appear till like seventh or something? Oh well. Anyway, enough supernatural talk. I have nothing else to say. I almost died. I'm going through the story again, aren't I, accidentally? Oh well. Do you like... Paper Mario Color Splash. Um, well, it was pretty clear when I was doing my trailer analyses that I did not like it. I wasn't a fan. Then the game came out, and I never bought it. <laughs> Naturally. Because I didn't want to support it if it was that bad. The idea that the battles don't give you any kind of rewards made it seem like you could just skip them. So I, if I played it, I probably would have skipped all the battles, or as much as I could. Because they only give you more paint, at most. 
and you use the paint in the battles anyway, so if I missed the battles, I could probably, you know, get away with it all. Um, but then when the game came out, people were like, Daz, this game's actually not too bad, you should play it, don't be such a spoil sport. And then I didn't. I was busy, didn't have money, so apparently the game's okay, but not fantastic. It's not the first three, um, but it's better than the fourth, so good on them. Again, I'm kind of neutral. I'm kind of the same as Mario Odyssey, where I'm like, it's probably okay. I'll probably like it more than Odyssey, though, in the end, because this is like... Maybe it's because it's a bit more my thing, Paper Mario. I don't know. Also, I guess I'm in another boss fight. This is new. Oh shoot, that's actually how I'm supposed to fight him? Dude, not you. Uh, no, wrong button. Okay, just survived. This is actually how I'm supposed to fight him. This is really cool. I'll be honest. Oh my god, it is. That's that's good. Uh, that's a good boss fight. I approve of that one. I was just doing it for fun. A boss fight that integrates fun? Good boss fight, that's what I say. And you wouldn't let me get any. I enjoy Color Splash, but I only played the N64 one. It's not as good as the N64 one, obviously. But still very enjoyable, that's fair. I have not played the N64 one. I might actually have it downloaded on my Wii. I'm not certain. I might have done. I might have like, found like a... I do not remember. I'd be tempted to play it. Um, I'll admit, <laughs> if I can be so snarky about it, I remember not liking the uh, visual aesthetic of it. Okay, so I can't get too close to it because it gets stuck under the damn thing. Um... Dudes! Ah... Uh, but, um, what am I trying to say here? First of all, give me a, give me a heart, please. That's what I want first. So I'm that bad at this game. Um, I never played the first one, but I didn't like the look of it, like, because it looked kind of old and, like, sta staticky? I'm not sure what I'm trying to say. Like, it looked low quality. I was like, nah. The sound wasn't as good. There's no audience mechanic. You're just sort of doing the fight, you know. But it is a good game. And I have seen someone play through all of it, but it was, like, years ago. So... I could get into it if I can find it, and it's free, and by that I mean I've already got it. And I would absolutely play that, if people were interested. And even if they weren't, I'd probably play it for fun. Would you be willing to play that bug Paper Mario-like game on stream? On Steam, even. No, on stream. The bug Paper Mario-like game. Did I call it a bug Paper Mario-like game? I don't know which one you're referring to. And I would check the rest of the chat to see if they can clarify what you mean, but I probably a bit busy. Yeah, I am getting beaten by a hat. Dude, did I not just land on him? Apparently not. Man, Goobas are fast in this game. They're actually almost difficult. We'll get to the answer in a moment, I swear. Oof. Who would have fought in a, a tense battle out of Goombas, if possible? Okay. Do I have to hit it with my hat, or is that just luck? Okay. Yeah, give me this heart, so I actually have full health and feel satisfied. And you. Okay. I'm tall enough. I'll let you do your spinning thing. Now I'm just in more trouble. It's always fun. Oh, okay, I'm not quite in all, full trouble. Now I'm in full trouble. Sweet! Is that all of him? Two hits? Sweet. Okay. Um, it's called Bug Fables, and it's heavily based on um, the luck of the thousand year poor. Okay. I mean, it said YT. Why wait? Never mind. TTYP. But okay. I will give that a look. Because I am super into another thousand year door. That's a hole. No? I. Oh. I'm in trouble. Okay. Can I go around the rim of this? Is this a secret, secret move? It is. Good game design. Not. That's a shame. There's a button there. But I think that's part of the early level. Please tell me this is a secret I found. 
to go down this. Uh. Ah. Okay. The camera doesn't like this. So clearly I'm in the wrong spot. Then again. Hello. Are you supposed to be accessible? Whoa. This is fun. I'm in this level ex of exploration options. I like. Da -da -da -da. Uh, okay, there's nothing in to see here. There's some coins in the background there. Great. And I get all right. I'm gonna go round back to that platform again. Wasn't sure if there was a moon here. I wanted to check. Okay, let me look down, please, camera. Thank you. Also, actually, I realised my voice might end up being out of sync because one one of my streams ah, one of my screens needs me to be in one setting, one needs me to be on the other, and I messed up. Damn. Not a hat, it's a floating hat shaped robot with sharp arms that shoot bombs and goombas. Okay, good to know. I might be a little outdated on reading that comment, but now I know. Okay. Crouch and jump. How would that fix anything? But okay, this is the entrance. Never mind. Let's go back to the ship. I'm done with this ship. Or this place. Although this is a back entrance? Did the re- oh. It's one of those leafy- it was a leafy entrance, wasn't it? Okay. So what's happening? We are here discussing, um, where we are discussing, um, Sony at E3, and generally, like, like, there's an announcement in 21 minutes from Sony that we're just sort of discussing ideas for, and just generally having a casual stream discussing stuff. I'm playing Super Mario Odyssey for the second time, and trying to actually find things, really. Not going through the story, just moons on the way. Wow, you actually got all the way up here? Good on you. Please leave. Um, but yeah, we're just discussing things, having a casual stream, seeing how things go. I'm realizing my issues in my setup. I'm realizing how bad I am at this game. And uh, we're mostly talking about Nintendo stuff because it always turns out that way. Hey, I haven't seen ba uh, Pikmin Battle Royale written in a while, so that's good. Or I just haven't been reading enough. There's a demo to Bug Fables for free. Please play it because it looks awesome, but the game is still on Kickstarter. Ooh, okay. Uh, I will remember that. I've got it recorded of me saying Bug Fables. So hopefully I remember to actually get Bug Fables. And if not, um, someone can remind me on Twitter and then have a go at me for forgetting. Ah. Uh. Oh, what? Whoa! That was not what I was expecting. Okay. What am I hearing? Like a, a breathing, whispering wind sound? Strange. But cool. This is for planting something. Okay. Well, that's what they said. Why can't we plant this, didn't they? Oh well, doesn't matter. I'm sure it's fine. So I need a plant thing there, and something's like vibrating, which is always fun. But I don't know where I was when it said we can plant something, and I wasn't really paying attention to what it even was I could plant. What? what am I listening to? Okay, this is destructible, so that's something I can do. But not with the cat. This is a, a dinosaur kind of thing was. Hello. Oops. Oh, it's making me shoot the coins out. Oh, excuse me. I thought it was making more. a while for cat to come back. There we go, thank you. This is creepy, I must admit. 
Can you stream Kirby Star Allies? No, I can't. I don't have the game, and that will cost me a lot of money because it's a full pledged, full made game. But maybe one day. But otherwise, probably not. I'm afraid I'm a I'm a YouTuber on a budget. I'm a Twitch streamer on a budget. I'm both. I'm on a budget. I'm on a budget. I don't think I can do anything else here. <laughs> Can I leave. Is that an option for me? Oh. That required time to plant the next seed. Okay. Okay, where was I? Where was the thing? There's a thing. But why? But why? It's a way to get out, I guess. Okay. But there was two, right? What was that? I'm already lost. There's another one there. And there's a thing down here. And that's my seed, Mr. Betsa. Thank you very much. Well, I appreciate the lighting. It actually makes me know where I'm going slightly. Oh, there's a lot of stuff here. Three. Three things here. Okay, I imagine this is going to take me somewhere new and special. So I'm going to take this route. Does this live forever? Apparently so. Okay. Off we go. Creepy, but okay. Interesting. All right. Let's uh, let's go home, yeah, if we can. If I know which way home even is. Not that way. That way. I know where I am, faintly. Kind of. Oh, maybe that way. Nope. There we go. Okay. Can you play Fortnite? Um, Fortnite is free, isn't it? Well, for a start, I don't have it straight away. So, not straight away. Also, um, I would need it on PC, which actually I do have on PC, so I guess I could. But also, everyone and their mother's playing Fortnite. So if I did, no one would see it. Plus, if you've seen a Fortnite game, you've seen them all. Like, I wouldn't mind playing the Fortnite. I've played it a handful of times on other people's games, and I've got the mobile app, because someone really wanted me to have the mobile app. But other than that, like, there's not much to see. And I'll just get forgotten, you know. It's not much I can add to it. Can't do much for ya. So I could, but I probably won't. Unless I did, did like an ironic stream or something like that. I don't know. Battle Royale is not an original idea. I actually would. I remember actually really thinking I should. I want a, a battle royale game before a battle royale game was a thing. I think it was when I read Hunger Games. I was like, I want a game like this where you have to survive. And like you're like that kind of scenario, but never thought of the idea of like the the area getting smaller and smaller. Actually, does that happen in Hunger Games? I'm not sure if it does. It might do. Uh, I think you just get naturally pushed away into a smaller crowd. But yeah, not the first person to make up the idea. But I'm glad that it exists now. It would have been a game I totally would have loved to have played if I was younger, and probably would still be interested in playing now if it hadn't already gained its stigma. Also, we got um, we got Lord Sakurai following us 24 minutes ago. Thank you. I apologise for not saying earlier. I couldn't see you. Oh, my backing. Almost it does. Sorry, I am back again, leaning forward as I do. We have another 13 minutes until uh, Sony. I'm gonna start moving my mic there so I can see when the screen changes.
We actually love a Hunger Games video game, which is something I never thought you'd say. This is true. Hunger Games sounds like a great game concept, even though it's basically Fortnite, but less. No, it's not. It's less, less gunfights on Mercury and more surviving with berries and weaponized medieval items, which would be kind of cool. I can't tell where that was. Is that it straight ahead? Is it to the side? These jump cuts are not very helpful. No, they were musical. Where is this rock? I cannot see. I am blind. This is what it's like to be colorblind. It's not. Wow, wow. There we go. That's where I need to be. Did I miss these before? Or did they only just appear now? I do like how they're actually blipping about. If you have $10, should you waste it on games or donate it here? Um, well, I'd be a little bit biased, in all honesty. If you want to buy a game for $10, you can find a game that's worth $10 and worth it for you. Go for it. Otherwise, I'd either say save up your money to get a bigger, better game. Because I'm not sure if... Well, indie games are pretty good these days. So who knows? Or you could send it my way, and I'll be able to pay for a whole fish and chips for myself. Or, I don't know, I, can't, I try and list the things I could buy by food. But I don't really know what the my, prices of things are. I don't know. It's up to you. I won't judge either way, because I understand what it's like to not have a lot of money. So if you don't want to spend it on a random stream where you don't get anything back other than appreciation and a word, that being your name, that's cool. Go with what you want, man. I ain't gonna force you either way. I also don't know what to recommend for $10. If I knew something that was worth $10, I'd go for it. But I also <laughs> don't know dollar currency that well, you know? I don't know the prices of games in dollars. Actually, I guess I technically would put three, because I'll say it in dollars first. But still. How did I get this moon again? Did I do anything special? Was it just unlocked as I found the moon rock? I cannot even remember. I think so, because I'm going back at myself now. Oops. Alright. What else is there? There's four on land here. It's probably these warp pipes. Okay. This was a boss fight before, so I will take just exploring these warp pipes for the last 20 minutes. Buy a free game with five dollars. Excuse me? That sounds a bit backwards to me. Pitch a match, pitch a match, put your best face forward. If you can master pitch a match, I'll give you a power move. Wanna give it a try? Yeah, okay. Right, get on up. Let me explain pitch a match. See his face? Take a good look, because you're gonna have to put it back together. Capture the facial features with your hat, then rotate and move and place them. Uh, oh, and each time you place a feature, feature, it'll disappear. You'll earn points based on how well you recreated the face. Go passing us. Okay. Easy enough. There are no Mario parts. Uh, they always look in on themselves. I think. I do like how you can put Mario onto it though. That's cool. Um, other way. It's a button, that one. Actually, you know what? I think they go the other way around. Oh well. Um, no. They are not- oops. Damn it. Because I think- I keep thinking the triggers are the turning buttons. They are not happy bunnies. But we shall leave them as such. That looks pretty accurate to me. And then they have angry eye eyebrows. That reach into their glab- This is not their- is that their glabella? That might be their glabella. That doesn't look like the right way around at all. That looks the right way around to me. <laughs> Let's not mess that up. fun. Um, did I forget something? They don't have noses, do they? No. These are all Mario parts. Sweet! I'll take that. That was easy enough. I know video games. Basically, a game uh, GameCube. A Goomba. Ooh, 
The uh, the Sony thing has now changed to a uh, stay tuned. But it still says it's starting in a bit, right? Let me see my mouse. Actually, it just says it's live. So we'll do one more warp pipe and then we'll get going, shall we? Don't try and tease me with the uh, colours of names. Names of colours, even. We'll do one more warp pipe and then we'll switch over to the PC and see how things go. Is it just simple 8-bit? Apparently. I am not good. Mario didn't get smaller when he got hurt? Tut 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 game. Tut tut tut. I don't need the coins. I might die. Nope. I survived. By pure luck and miracle. Oh. Didn't know there were fireballs. I did not see you whisper, Zoe. I don't get to see him on. I don't have Twitch currently open. I do, but it's. I'm looking at Streamlabs. I'll see you whisper later. Not very good to whisper me during stream because I just can't see it. You know. Also not very good at keeping up with them. <laughs> Much easier just seeing them live, usually. But, I mean, if it's if a message you want me to see for after stream, then yeah, cool. I'll look at it. But I'm already looking at three screens. Can't look at four, you know. I probably could, but I'm not going to. I don't have a fourth monitor, that's why. Yeah, logic. Right, can I do this now? Thank you. Uh, why did I do that? Why would I do that? Do you ever do Mario Party on stream, and which one would you prefer to do? Um, to do Mario Party, I need like three other people to play with. If there's an online Mario Party game, absolutely. I love Mario Party, and I've yet to find anyone in real life who will enjoy playing it with me. I've played it with a handful of different groups of people, and they're all just like, eh, this ain't great. And I'm like, damn it, why? So, um, if it was online, sure. Because if I played by myself, it might be a little bit boring or lonely. Unless I specifically try and make it that the point. I'll have a lonely stream. It'll just be me and then th three other me's, as in actual me, not the Nintendo me's, playing this game all to each other. And I'll pretend that I'm all the AI characters at once to really confuse with new new audience members and it'll be great. Does that sound good to everyone else? Okay. Because, yeah, there you go. I'd love to if I had the uh, assets. That's what That's what friends are called, right? Assets? Yeah, yeah, that's the one. All right, looks like this is our last endeavor. Cause uh, well, what's the time? What is the time? Five minutes two. Okay, this is a good time to uh, switch on over from the switch. Or the pun. Anyway, um, let's get out of here. Which one's the correct one? This is the correct one. Let's not accidentally go back through that whole thing again. Not a fan. And hey, we got a nice chunk of power moons. How many did we get? Did anyone, was anyone counting? I'll be curious to know. But otherwise, I will save. Wow! And with that, I will bring you out of here. Uh, ooh, we got we got e e uh, e shop news. Let me just quickly peek at what that is. Oh, more Breath of the Wild tips. Great. With that, let's switch on over to the slightly less musical. Uh, PC version. Let me get up my preview so I can see where I'm looking. And editor, please. We're over to the PC world. Can you still hear me for a start? Would be nice to know. Yes, you can. I can see my own audio input. And, um, let's see. Also, I need to check the frame rate's okay. At the moment, it looks all right. Oh, I can actually see the chat twice now. That's nice. Um, mm -mm -mm. I want to switch these mm, uh, windows around again. Don't hello, you can see things zoomed out. Otherwise I can't tell what's going on. There we are. Sweet, now I can see the screen myself. I'll full screen it with the other seven almost seven thousand people watching. And we'll see how this goes. Ooh, what are people expecting? Actually, can I? Oh, you know what? Like putting on your headphones forgetting to turn the sound down. Unmute the stream. 
What? Am I muted? Couldn't be. I'm pretty sure you can hear me. Oh, you mean this. You want that unmuted. Oh, hello. That actually does come with music. Let's work this out. Can you hear that? That's desktop audio. Right? I don't know. Is music? Is it too loud? Tell me what you think. Well, we're just chilling with everyone else. What's happening? Actually, also, no, I can't. But I could do it on my phone, maybe. You can't hear anything. Okay, let me fix this. What I will do. Can't hear anything from the idiot. There's supposed to be sound. Okay. Cool. I can fix this. That because uh, that's not making the sound that I thought. It was. We'll go to. You hear that? Or is that just more of me? That's more of me. Or is that just more of me? That's more of me. Me? Hmm. Usual way. Can you hear anything now? You can't hear anything. Turn the sound up. That change anything? We've got five minutes. All you hear are whispers. The un do this. Let me know if you do hear anything. I keep changing my settings. Now everything's frozen. Also, everything's frozen on the stream. Oh, okay. It was frozen on the stream, let me know, and I'll need to fix that. Get dead people, that's fun. None of my op I will change it so it's not saying, uh, Odyssey. In a moment. I first need to sort out my own audio. Which is making all the Streamlabs freeze, apparently. Do I have to come out of this so it makes it work? My lord. Might get to the point where you might have to dive in and watch it yourself for a moment. It was frozen on stream. That's fun. I've, un I've unfull screen just so I can see what's going on. Okay. You might have to watch it yourself, because uh, nothing's working. I'll just turn on everything and see if something works. Oh. Pretty quiet. No problem. You can only hear, okay, I will still, still keep working on. I don't know why we do it. This audio. Uh, it's locked. Doesn't like. Devin Boyster, thank you for the host. I am still currently working out my actual setup so that we can actually hear what's going on. It fixed it if you refresh. Something worked. Okay. 
If you can hear it now, then great, we'll go with it. Otherwise, I apologise if you can't hear. I'll add it in post and you'll have to see it later. It worked for a brief second. Damn it. Mm-hmm. That's horrifying. Alright, the whole thing froze on my end as well, so at least none of us can hear what's going on. Hmm. Dude, can we like have a functioning stream please on both hearing it and whatever's going on here? <laughs> So, uh, PlayStation are selling us drugs. Okay. It's Tetris. It's Tetris. VR. Tetris. VR. Tetris. We two hours. We waited two hours. Tetris. For Tetris. Really? Really? Is that it? Is that it? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? You're right, they didn't actually show off You're the You're right, game they didn't all. actually show off the game at all. That was some dumb, was some trippy, CGI dumb trippy CGI trailer. Sony have never been good at E3. Sony have never been good at E3. There's two of me? Damn it. I kept adding so many different um, audio tracks with all these different settings. I assumed one of them would play the sound. Apparently none would. Oh, I'm going to try one more thing, even though it's way too late. Try it. Am I still duplicated now? Am I yeah. still duplicated now? Yeah, I can hear it. Damn. There's still two of me? There shouldn't be. One of me. The other one I think should be gone now. Bubble wub. Yeah, okay. Why? Why would Sony start with this? Like... You bring up all this hype to say we're releasing a new announcement every day for the next five, seven, whatever days. And the first thing they show is hallucinogenic Tetris. <sighs> VR Tetris is going a bit too far, you say? 
Wow, acting. They didn't know that already. I'm really annoyed that I can't... You can't hear my own sounds. I have so many audio things open after you said you couldn't hear anything. Desktop audio should be doing it, but it's not. I have no idea why. Oh, hello. We have a big thing that was popped. Sandstorm54, thank you for following us in this sad, sad time where VR Tetris is thought to be the next big thing. A land where they think this is the best thing to show off first. A great thing to hype up for two, three hours. They were streaming this build up for three hours. I was only here for two. And I'm like, I should go back to Mario Odyssey. That's like October news, but it's better than VR freaking Tetris. Rev it up one more time? Are you seriously just gonna play it again? Are you kidding me? Is it April 1st already? Are you kidding me? This... No. They played it seven hours each. I feel so sorry for them. Why would you be compelled to play Tetris for seven hours straight? <laughs> Maybe it wasn't straight. But like, isn't Tetris like two hours at most on a bad airport day? And then you move on to all your other games. Go lie down, I think I might do. That was a that was a five minute trailer that's way too long for freaking Tetris. Well, I have to say, tomorrow we'll be streaming again with a similar kind of vibes. We gotta up our prediction games. Nobody said in all of this chat, and we've got it on stream here to check, no one said Tetris VR drugs. So we need to we need to get our A game on. We were spending too much time talking about Nintendo. We should have been thinking Tetris. We were actually talking about color blindness. So I guess um you know all this purple green cyan silverness is fitting. There are sharks. Those are dolphins. There are dolphins in Tetris, and they try to try try four for four force. And drum umbrellas and windmill. Why? Who gave Sony the Tetris license? They should be fired. I don't want seagulls in my Tetris. When were the days of the 8 bit repetitive song? How long were they talking? What time is it? It's 16.10. It's been 10 minutes. And they've done a five, well maybe not five minutes then. What is this, like a, it's not gonna tell me. I'm also slightly not live. This game is gonna fall. Actually, in all honesty, this game's probably gonna do great. <laughs> <gasps> Why did I wait two hours for this? Oh, it's Tetris Effect game. That sounds fun. Is there more? Please tell me there's more. They're gonna show this same damn trailer 12 times to everyone leaves, then announce Infamous 4, I hope. I don't even know what Infamous 4 is, but I'll be up for that. PlayStation, and it's gone. And it's gone. That would have been a nice end to this trailer if they actually had like an echoing version of the original that's gone. Wow, okay. So, uh... What are people's thoughts on that? Hmm? How do people feel? You might have gotten my opinion already. That was, um... That was an, exper an experience, to say the least. I think we all learned a lot in how little we know about games. The industry and Sony is very clearly, like, 
eight steps ahead. They're living in 2038 right now. They, they're on some next level stuff that we could never even hope to live up to in our lives, I think. That sounds somewhat accurate to me, right? Does that make sense to everyone else? I, uh... I think it's fair to say we're all disappointed. Not so much in Sony, but in, in ourselves. In that... We never predicted it. We had two hours to think of something. We did not think of, um... We did not think of that. We didn't think even anything close. Nothing worked. Nothing we said was true. I don't know if you can hear this, but I'm playing the Hey Pikmin failure minigame result. Because it just seems like the most fitting thing. <sighs> Sunny chat doesn't look happy. I'm only letting you see one or two lines, but yeah, you get the idea. It's a new game. It's not a new IP. You can't hear it. Ah, well, you can imagine it's there. I'll probably add it in, in a YouTube version. It probably would be good, but they should have just announced this on Twitter. Or just in the middle of E3. This didn't deserve to be hyped up for three hours, and then said it's the first thing you're going to show before E3. It's, uh... <laughs> it's laughable. It's just, a. Uh... It's probably a great game. The trailer is a flop. And not even the quality of the trailer, just... Uh, did I change the title in game? I didn't. But this is the end of the stream. We're missing... So the last 13 minutes were a lie. The last 17. Excuse me. But I'm afraid... <laughs> that was what we were here for. And, uh... That was certainly something. I'm gonna go and, um... Make a make a YouTube video out of this, but otherwise, drug Tetris. We'll uh, we'll come back tomorrow. We'll make another prediction. Maybe it'll be a bit more than drug Tetris, but um, we'll see. I'll see you same time tomorrow. Probably playing some more Mario Odyssey. Maybe some Xenoblade Chronicles too. We'll see how I feel. <sighs> what else will Sony prevent at E3? We'll discuss it tomorrow. I'm afraid, yeah. I was uh, I ain't got much else to show, and people aren't very invested in Odyssey, I don't think, so we'll just sort of go with it. There'll be more of me plenty in the week, but for now, my name's been Daz, you didn't really care, and I'll see you in a bit. Don't do drugs, kids.